Taoiseach, uh, the, the child disability network teams uh, are made up of staff, sometimes who are HSE employees, but sometimes uh, Enable Ireland workers who are Section 39 workers who are on lesser uh, paying conditions. And there is a big impact as a consequence of that because those uh, teams who are uh, staffed by Section 39 workers are having much more difficulty recruiting people to those teams because they're on lesser uh, terms and conditions. And this is having very serious consequences. To give you an example, Kieran is now eight years old. He was uh, ref uh, assigned a key worker, or told he needed a key worker, and uh, he needed um, uh, specialist professional support for uh, his autism in 2018. He only got his key worker this year and he still hasn't had any uh, services because the team doesn't have the staff. So it needs to be addressed as a matter of urgency. Thanks, um, th thanks Deputy. Um, as you'll be aware, people who work for Section 39 bodies aren't public servants, they're not government employees. Uh, so they, they do have different terms and conditions, even when they're doing the same job. Uh, and as we know from the hospices, we very successfully have brought a number of hospices from Section 39 to Section 38 status. Um, when you actually do that, it turns out to be a lot more complicated than people think, because while some people uh, may have lesser terms and conditions, other people have better terms and conditions, and then there are different pension arrangements. So it's never quite as straightforward as it may seem. Uh, and uh, by removing the autonomy uh, from those bodies and requiring them to apply um, the public service pay scales and pension rules, they're actually winners and losers. And that's one of the complications in moving the 39 bodies into the 38 space.